Maverick's riveting story of people who have changed the world. From humble beginnings to global dominance, the riveting story of Samsung and its founder, Lee Byung-chul. Summary. Dive into the captivating narrative of Lee Byung-chul, the unwavering trailblazer who morphed Samsung from a humble trading company into a $465 billion technological titan. His journey, marked by gritty resolve and innovative prowess, didn't just alter the landscape of South Korea's economy, it changed the world. Battling through the harsh realities of Japanese colonization and Korean War, Byung-chul's resilience became a cornerstone of Samsung's enduring success. Discover how, despite recent setbacks, this global behemoth has managed to maintain its dominance, selling the most mobile phones worldwide and surpassing giants like Sony and IBM. Byung Chul's journey illuminates the path for budding entrepreneurs, a testament to the power of relentless innovation, unwavering ambition, and strategic foresight. Presented by Global Elites Network at Non.School. Global Elites Network, pioneering future leaders through innovative education. Samsung's story is not merely one of success, but a tale of relentless ambition, innovation, and resilience. With a staggering market capitalization of $465 billion USD, Samsung stands nearly four times larger than industry behemoths IBM or Sony. This massive figure isn't just a testament to its global dominance, but a reflection of the strategic vision and unwavering determination that has driven the company from the very start. The company's journey began with its founder, Lee Byung-chul. Born into a wealthy landowning family in Wiryong, South Korea, in 1910, Lee was the youngest of his siblings. From a very early age, Lee displayed signs of an entrepreneurial spirit. As a child, he demonstrated a keen sense of business acumen, which was particularly noticeable in his dealings with the local merchants and vendors. This early exposure to commerce left an indelible impression on the young boy, forming the foundation for his future business ventures. In his adolescence, Lee developed a voracious appetite for knowledge and education. While attending a local high school in nearby Jongnam, he devoured books on various subjects and quickly outpaced his peers academically. He possessed an unusual ability to absorb information quickly and had a natural gift for critical thinking. As he grew older, these traits became more refined, shaping the tenets of the leader he would eventually become. At the age of 26, after facing the harsh reality of Japanese occupation in his home country and the difficulties of managing a business under oppressive rules, Lee embarked on his journey with Samsung in 1938. With a starting capital of only 30,000 won, equivalent to just $25 today, and 40 employees, Samsung started as a small trading company specializing in locally grown groceries and noodles. But Lee's ambitious vision soon transformed it into a global conglomerate. Samsung's growth is intrinsically linked to its commitment to innovation. This can be most clearly seen in its role as the world's leading mobile phone manufacturer. The company has persistently pushed the boundaries of technology, consistently staying ahead of the curve in an industry marked by rapidly evolving consumer preferences and technological advancements. Its relentless innovation, combined with its reputation for quality, has helped Samsung cement its position as the go-to choice for consumers worldwide. But Samsung's dominance extends beyond just mobile phones. The company's decision to invest in vertical integration, building its own LEDs, society CPUs, and memory chips, has paid off spectacularly. This strategic move allowed Samsung to maintain rigorous control over the quality of its products, while also considerably reducing production costs and increasing efficiency in its supply chain. This vertical integration strategy offered dual benefits. It reduced the company's reliance on external suppliers, minimizing potential disruptions in the supply chain. Simultaneously, it provided Samsung with the flexibility to adapt swiftly to changing market demands since it controlled the production process. In an industry defined by rapid technological changes and short product life cycles, this flexibility has proven crucial. However, Samsung's journey to the top hasn't been devoid of challenges. The recent global economic downturn has dealt a significant blow, causing the company's profits to tumble by a sobering 96%. The sheer magnitude of this loss is a stark reminder of the volatile nature of the global economy and the trials it presents. But, if history is any indicator, Samsung will rebound. The company's ranking as the world's 21st largest company in terms of market capitalization is a testament to its resilience and global impact.
This resilience springs from the faith in its capabilities, the strength of its strategic planning, and the dedication of its workforce. Yet, there's another key element to Samsung's success, its strong belief in the power of research and development. Samsung's substantial investments in R&D have driven technological breakthroughs and fueled innovation, keeping the company at the cutting edge of technology. It's ensured that Samsung continues to set industry standards and shape the future of electronics. Li Byung-chul's leadership, characterized by a deep-seated belief in continuous growth and development, set the groundwork for Samsung's culture of resilience, innovation, and societal contribution. His journey from a child with a keen business acumen to the founder of one of the world's leading conglomerates is an inspiring example for the future leaders of tomorrow. For organizations like the Global Elites Network, led by Principal Maverick, that are dedicated to nurturing the creativity, critical thinking, accelerated learning, business acumen, and leadership abilities of young minds. The story of Li Byung-chul and Samsung is indeed a goldmine of lessons. It demonstrates the power of perseverance, the importance of strategic vision, and the endless possibilities that innovation brings. In light of the recent economic downturn, Samsung's inherent strength, resilience, and unwavering commitment to innovation are sure to guide it towards recovery. The company's history has shown that it can rise above challenges, transform them into opportunities, and emerge stronger. In conclusion, Samsung's rise from a small trading company to a global powerhouse is a testament to the power of strategic vision, unwavering determination, and relentless innovation. The company's journey serves as an inspiring blueprint for young minds, reminding them that resilience, innovation, and leadership are essential for success in the ever-changing world of business. The story of Samsung and Li Byung-chul offers a motivating narrative for those seeking to make a difference in the world. It's proof that no challenge is too big, and no dream too audacious, for those willing to work towards it. The extraordinary saga of Samsung reflects the vision of its founder, Li Byung-chul, who laid the foundation for the company's pioneering spirit and resilience. More than just a story of commercial success, it is an account of overcoming adversity, pushing boundaries, and establishing a legacy. This saga is deeply inspiring, especially for the children who are part of the Global Elites Network. It sends a powerful message of perseverance and creative thinking, qualities that Principal Maverick seeks to instill in these young minds. From humble beginnings in Wiryong, South Korea, Lee Byung-chul had an entrepreneurial mindset from the get-go. He was born in 1910 into a wealthy family, but it was not merely the family wealth that defined him. Even as a child, he showcased an intuitive understanding of commerce and a knack for leadership. Interactions with local vendors and merchants became his earliest classrooms, where he learned the subtleties of business transactions. His early fascination with commerce laid the groundwork for what would later become his business empire. As Lee moved into adolescence, he developed a hunger for learning that set him apart from his peers. He was naturally gifted with a sharp intellect and an ability to assimilate information rapidly. His keen interest in education honed his critical thinking skills and fueled his ambition, shaping him into the visionary leader he would become. In 1938, at the age of 26, Lee launched Samsung with an initial capital of just 30,000 won, equivalent to $25 today, and 40 employees. The company began its journey as a small trading company, dealing in locally grown groceries and noodles. However, the ambitious vision of its founder catapulted Samsung from a local trading company to a global conglomerate. Samsung's ascension to the top of the electronics world is a testament to its dedication to innovation. Being the world's leading mobile phone manufacturer isn't a mere accident, but the result of consistent investment in research and development. Samsung pushed technology's boundaries, continually innovating to create products that resonated with consumers worldwide. But Samsung's dominance wasn't confined to mobile phones alone. Its strategic decision to invest in vertical integration, manufacturing its own LEDs, society CPUs, and memory chips, has proven instrumental in its success. This allowed Samsung to maintain rigorous quality control over its products, reduce production costs, and significantly increase supply chain efficiency. Despite its success, Samsung has not been immune to the trials and tribulations of the global economy. The recent downturn saw the company's profits plummet by an astounding 96%. However, the company's remarkable resilience, bolstered by its position as the 21st largest company in the world in terms of market capitalization, indicates that it is poised for a recovery. 
Central to Samsung's success is its unwavering commitment to research and development. This has fueled its ability to stay at the forefront of technology, consistently setting industry standards and paving the way for the future of electronics. The tale of Samsung, and by extension, Li Byung Chul, provides a wealth of lessons for the future leaders being nurtured at the global elites network. It underscores the importance of resilience, strategic thinking, innovation, and societal contribution. For Principal Maverick, who seeks to instill creativity, critical thinking, business acumen, and leadership qualities in children, this story is a beacon of inspiration. In conclusion, the journey of Samsung from a small trading company to a leading global player offers an array of crucial lessons. It highlights the power of vision, resilience, innovation, and leadership. The story of Samsung and its founder, Li Byung-chul, demonstrates that no dream is too big or challenge too overwhelming for those who dare to imagine and work towards their goals. With resilience and a commitment to innovation, Samsung is sure to weather the storm and continue its path of success, a journey that offers a wealth of inspiration for the young leaders of tomorrow. Top 10 Questions for Further Analysis 1. How did Li Byung-chul's early life experiences shape his approach to business and innovation? 2. What unique qualities did Li Byung-chul possess that enabled him to transform Samsung from a small trading company into a global tech behemoth? 3. How did Li Byung-chul navigate Samsung through the crises of Japanese colonization and the Korean War? What lessons can we draw from his crisis management skills? 4. How has Samsung's strategic decision to vertically integrate its production, for instance building its own LEDs, society CPUs, and memory, contributed to its competitive advantage? 5. How did Li Byung-chul foster a culture of innovation and resilience within Samsung? 6. What strategies did Samsung implement to surpass industry giants like Sony and IBM in terms of market cap? 7. What role did Li Byung-chul's leadership style play in Samsung's growth and market dominance? 8. Given the recent 96% drop in Samsung's profits, what strategies do you think the company might employ to bounce back? 9. How has Li Byung-chul's journey inspired and informed your own approach to entrepreneurship and leadership? 10. How can today's business leaders apply the principles and strategies used by Li Byung-chul to navigate their own companies through economic downturns and market disruptions? That concludes version 1.0, our teaser. If you've enjoyed this and would like to delve into the complete business case study, version 2.0, we invite you to subscribe to our at mba.casestudy channel at either https colon slash slash courseware dot mba or https colon slash slash case study dot mba. Once there, you'll be able to access and read the full version 2.0 case study. Every day, Maverick will publish several videos containing the comprehensive version 2.0 of the MBA case study channel. We encourage you to share your thoughts on any MBA case study video that piques your interest. Your input could be valuable for others in our community, so please don't hesitate to leave a comment.